Hello, Katie Love Keener here, and you're watching Coffees with Katie. I'm not a blogger, or a vlogger, V or B, um, but the other day a friend of mine was like, Katie, you should start a vlog. And I thought, no one wants to listen to me. I ain't got that much to say, but here I am. I have created a vlog. I do know a few things. One, I love coffees. And two, I love coffee with people. And so this vlog, just consider it me having coffee with all of you wonderful folk out there. I was thinking this morning about the Winter Olympics. I don't know if you guys were watching the women's hockey game the other day. It was the one for the gold and it went out into overtime, and then it went into a shootout, and then it went into an extended shootout. It was very exciting. And we won, Team USA. So that was pretty cool. I watched the medal ceremony, and I felt bad for Team Canada. I have a lot of Canadian friends, love the great white north. I believe that's what you call yourselves, maybe. Uh, but I love Canada. I love Canadians. And I just felt bad for them, you know? They were really wanting that gold. Obviously, more happy we got it. But the Canadians were totally bummed out. And I was watching and I was thinking, I would be pretty stoked if I got a silver medal because, honestly, I am one of the least athletic people I know. Winter Olympics. I don't know much about sports. I really don't. But I grew up watching ice skating. So Scott Hamilton, know him. Christy Yamaguchi. Um, I loved watching ice skating when I was younger. There is this Russian guy. I don't know his name. He was the best ice skater I've ever seen. His footwork across the ice was to die for. Um... There was one ice skater when I was growing up, he'd always wear a mesh shirt, and I always thought, brah, that shirt is disgusting. I can't stand when the men wear mesh shirts, um, or the women. Ice skating is a fun one to watch. I could never do what they do. I've been ice skating three times in my life. This last time I went ice skating, I did not fall, but the times before, I've definitely fallen. I thought I broke my leg one time. It was horrific. There's a few movies that I've learned everything I have learned about the Winter Olympics. And the first one that I learned a lot about ice hockey is the Mighty Ducks. Uh, Coach Bombay taught me everything I knew. I know that the Flying V um, is probably the most effective hockey move that a team could make and why I never see any of them do a flying V is beyond me. I keep thinking when I'm watching these ice hockey games this year, I'm like, just do the flying V. Do the flying V. That's what Coach Bombay would say. Another one that I learned a lot of, a lot of good stuff about the Winter Olympics. Uh, cool Runnings. Don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but that movie's about the first Jamaican bobsled team. What a fantastic movie. I think, was it not Dougie Doug in that movie? Where'd he go? Haven't seen him in eons. Um, John Candy. Classic John Candy movie. But I learned a very important lesson. If you want to win in life, you, you should carry a lucky egg. And maybe kiss that lucky egg from time to time. They actually didn't win in that movie. They crashed horribly. But the one thing they did win was um, they finished. They finished the race, the bobsled race. And that one guy's father at the end was at the finish line. And he started the slow clap. I mean, that had to be one of the best slow claps I've ever seen in a movie. And he started it, the father. And he opened his his sweater thing, and he was like, I have the bobsled team shirt on. And it was a very moving moment because he was totally against them doing the bobsled team um, because he 
thought it was a waste of time, I think. And his son was a runner, and he was like, you're a runner. You're not a bobsledder. I mean, we live in Jamaica. There's no snow here. Go run. Anyways, John Candy brought them to victory. So that's the history of the Jamaican bobsled team, if you've never heard of it. I think there's a few things that we've learned today. Carry a lucky egg. Because you never know when you're going to need to kiss it. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful, a wonderful day. Um, thank you for joining me for coffee. If I had a little ditty for the end of the vlog, it'd be something like, Coffee's with Katie. Coffee's with Katie. Drink them in the morning, drink them in the evening, drink them in the afternoon. Ooh.